Yes, uh, with the with the, the seven ships that have been contracted to come in, and some of the discussions that were going on between the uh, Great Lakes captain and the ILA before they they left Dockage or started heading to Muskegon. Has the ILA been working with any of our folks here? Has there been any communication with There has guys? been some, but I don't know all the particulars, and I'd be admissed to even bring that up. I, you know, yeah. I just don't have the, the expertise to tell you what that discussion is about. But there should there be should there discussion? Be right? Absolutely, there should be. Yeah. Absolutely. Can I, I guess this ILA or can, could they make it actually so that like you guys couldn't even do the work our local like. Ericsson's and all them that are in the union or Verplanks and all them so you guys couldn't no. even unload or anything else? With all of that there's no guarantees that one group or one entity controls that one way or the other. All it says is sets a provision, sets a standard. It says that if you're going to do this kind of work we want to have these standards. It doesn't preclude you or me or anyone else as long as we set and agree that the standards are being met. Well. Could be they pick it so um, ships coming in like we were using you instead of them. I mean, since the, the shipping contract. Well, they'll never be able to stop a picket line or any of that. No, but it will help understand that language. If if I understand, there, let's let's use some that use it already. Let's use an electrical contractor. Okay, if I'm using somebody that has X amount of schooling, they have to have so many safety hours. They've got to have so many hours in the type of uh, uh, currents and so on that are in there. And I agree, these are all standards I want to use. Then if I walk in the next day and say, well, wait a minute, I'm going to hire a guy down the street who you knows how to twist a wire and he knows 110. But I can do it cheaper because he doesn't have all the schooling or anything. Who are you going to hire? And I don't uh, think that's I, the question. That's not really what I'm asking. It's 4.30 in time yeah. for me yeah. to go down. I'd like to so, talk some more, yeah. too, because that's yeah, not the question. I have a nice day. Okay, I'm, day. Then I'm, I'm, I'm going to you all later. Could yeah, they I'm, maybe I so they would end break, up here so. from Indiana? Yeah, you've you got farther to go than I did. Instead of you better think to do it. Get on the way, too. When this is done, I'm going to determine. So we're going better off than what we would have said. Whatever. I can't guarantee that the skilled of labor wouldn't come from elsewhere. But eventually it'll be here. Yeah. You know, it's, it's just be like people, but I mean, as long as we bring these ships on, you know, exactly. like we just did. They actually could. Could they actually out of come out of Indiana to run that instead of us? The captain made the definite de decision to come to Muskegon, but he, when he took the boat, he says, "I won't come there." At the frigate. And is there is there discussions going on, or are we prepared here in Muskegon to at least work with other interested parties within labor? Organized labor to make sure Muskegon doesn't get short sighted out of it over inner politics between different union factions. The answer is yes. Good. We That's have the to hear we have the evidence to talk about it. I, I guess make I, sure what I want to hear too. That's what I don't want to. I mean. That's the way we're going to go with organized labor. That's fine, but it, at least I don't want them coming out of Indiana forcing us to use them instead of using you guys or the or whatever. You see what I'm saying? I, I, I want as to long as that skill and expertise is here, they'll use here. Right. And I know that our longshoremen here already have the skills and expertise. There's only three of them. They have. <laughs> Right. Uh, I'll stop.